people a rare opportunity right now to score some discounted tickets on Broadway. More than a dozen shows are participating in the next Broadway week. Tickets are now on sale. They're half off when you buy at least two of them for performances between September 3rd and 15th. Now, some of the participating shows include Hamilton, Back to the Future, Once Upon a Mattress, and Chicago. And speaking of Chicago, actress Alyssa Milano getting ready to take over her role of Roxy Hart in the musical. It'll actually be her Broadway debut. The star who's best known for her roles on Who's the Boss and Charmed got her start in the theater in a national touring company of Annie when she was just eight years old. Milano says doing a stint on Broadway never felt right until now. She starts a limited eight-week engagement on September 16th. Well, for anyone who appreciates the arts, a unique story out of Utah where the country's oldest violin-making school is located. The Violin-Making School of America opened in 1972 in Salt Lake City. The owner says it attracts students from all walks of life and no music experience is actually required. Anyone who doesn't know how to play the violin will get lessons as part of the curriculum. It is not necessary you have to know something about violin making or music uh, theory or performance anything at all. We can teach you how to become a violin maker. The school's program typically takes three years to complete and there's much more of the 10 o'clock news straight ahead but first here's a look at what you can expect tomorrow on your commute. <laughs> Water on Mars. A new study suggests that there's an ocean's worth of water that's hiding beneath the planet's red, dusty surface. The findings are based on computer modeling as well as seismic measurements from NASA's InSight lander. Scientists believe the water is 7 to 12 miles down in the Martian crust. It most likely would have seeped from the surface billions of years ago when Mars actually had rivers and lakes. So interesting. When we want to take a look at tonight's Insta poll results, we asked you, is the cassette making a comeback? Here's what you had to say. Take a look at the results, and thanks to everyone who voted. 74% of you say no, 26% of you say yes. All right, let's check in with Nick now, and hopefully VHS tapes make a comeback, because yeah. I know my parents' house is, like, full of that. Yeah, so is mine. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the way, you know, what quality of those tapes are that's in all right. these years, though. That's the thing. You have, you have to wind them, exactly, too. Exactly, exactly. The whole process. All wrinkled and the whole yeah. thing. Well, let's see what happens with cassettes. I got a lot of those hanging around, too, in the house. All right, so we have upper 50.